Hi everybody, another little walkthrough from Claudia at We're Just Two Sisters. I've been really into making these little tab booklet folios. I don't even know what to call them, so I'm going to call them a tab booklet folio. Um, they are interestingly constructed using little tabs on the sides. It's a tab method of binding, as you can see here, and I really enjoy doing it. So these are relatively small. And they're using all kinds of different things like postcards and index cards and just a variety of different things. This one, as far as measurements, is six inches at the longest point and four inches. So four by six. As you can see, they're variated in size. Um, and that kind of gives that really cool kind of layered look to it. This one is put together or uh, held together with a little gold ribbon that just comes right off and it's detachable. And let's uh, let's take a walk through inside. I'm gonna lift it up so you can kind of see the depth and the different um, textures and so forth of this one. It's just really cool and it has an abundance of uh, different types of imagery and different types of ephemera. So on the very front cover is this illustration of this beautiful lady. And if there's a pocket here on this very front one with a really pretty little green bow, some music page background here, some of my coffee dyed uh, fabric that I've stamped onto, and then this is sewn here on the side. This first page actually has a pocket that comes out, and I just love that look where, um, you know, here is another glimpse into that beautiful young lady. And this is a little tablet that opens up. It has some really pretty lace here on the side with a, a blue little ribbon that's holding the tab. It opens up as so. There's a tablet that's sewn onto the page and then a little pocket here with this uh, beautiful heel of the shoe, a button that's sewn onto another little piece of fabric. And inside here is a diary letter and a receipt from George Burbeck, boot and shoemaker. And I thought that went really well with the little illustration there of the shoe. That just slides right on in there. And let's get it all the way in there so that it doesn't crimp. There we go. And then this guy slides into this side pocket with the lace hanging over the edge as so. Let's open it up to the first page. Again, um, I've used this young lady that was in a book that I had kind of throughout this whole little flip folio. On this side, there's a little pocket, flowers. There's also some more sheet music. You can see how this is sewn all the way around the edges here. This one is sewn at the top. Here's two more little buttons that are over uh, the tops of those two tabs. The tabs that I used were um, kind of a piece of canvas that I had that was stamped. And you can see some of this um, stamping on that old piece of canvas. Here's a tiny little uh, tablet. Open it up. The tablet's here at the bottom. The top has a little tiny pocket. This goes into here, and I like to overlap it because I like how that looks when it kind of hangs over the edge. And then here's just a little whimsical tag that goes into that pocket. This also has a pocket, old book page. The book page is actually glued onto um, cardstock so that it remains um, durable and it's not going to tear. Inside here is a letter with this beautiful butterfly on it awesome place to uh, create your journal entry. And on these, I kind of like to let them hang out of the side. And that's because you can see them when it's closed. I like kind of like that look. But you could tuck this one all the way in if you wanted to. You could overlap it like so, 
There's just so many different possibilities of how you might want to arrange these things. Personally, I kind of like it to hang off the edge and it's great if you could see a little bit of that butterfly wing. We will turn the page here. And as you can see, this is a, t a card or a tag. This actual piece or page is made out of that tag and then the tag is decorated. And these are super sturdy. They're not, they're not going to come apart. So on this side, there's a l beautiful little clip here, a little heart clip. And that holds this piece closed. But when you open it up, it uh, comes right out. It's a little journaling piece that you can use to write down things. And this can just go right down into that little belly band. And then the little clip, I like, um, can keep it, uh, keep it closed up. Or if you wanted to, you could put the whole thing in the belly band, like so. Whichever way that you would prefer using it. Um, this little clip could then go up here. It could pretty much go anywhere that you wanted it to go. But it could go there and hold that in, like so. This was such a pretty page that I really didn't want to... Um, cover it all up. There is a um, a piece up here that's kind of a corner and it is a corner pocket. So if you had a, a tag that you wanted to use here, you could actually place that in this corner pocket like so and it could just kind of hang down. Any little piece would go in there even if you had, you know, some kind of a smaller piece that you wanted to use you could just slide it up into that corner pocket like so. This also has a clip. It's very whimsical, has some really pretty ribbon and some whimsical yarn, and it just goes up here at the top like so. And here you can see the three tabs that hold this together. This beautiful paper and some trim here, some lacy trim. This has a pocket as well on the side and there's a postcard in here. It's a double-sided pocket so I'll show you when I turn the page that there's another piece in there as well. This can kind of hang over that edge if you'd like as well. So let's turn the page and then We'll take this off again because it kind of holds this in. So here is another card. So this card is a pocket card. The pocket on this side can um, hold whatever you might like to put in there. Put that little tag in there for the moment. Has a tab here that makes it easy to pull. And then when you turn it over, there's another pocket on this side with this cool piece of ephemera, an old letter that just kind of hangs over the side. And this one goes in this way on that pocket. Hangs over here like so. Makes it very easy to pull it out. And again, here's your little clamp. We'll put it right there. And I love the way that these kind of hang off the edge and make that so pretty. So here's the uh, other uh, page of this one. There's a little tablet that's actually glued on to the page. There's a, a, a pocket here that has like a, a French advertisement, a little dusty rose there. In this pocket is this little folio. Has the mirror and the flowers, kind of the dressing table. And on the back, some writing and some more flowers. And when you open it up, there's that beautiful girl again. And there's a couple of different girls in this that came out of that book. And the earth puts forth sweet flowers is the tablet. It has quite a bit of writing pages here. And this just slides down into that pocket like so. There's another tag that comes out of the top here. You can see Another one of those beautiful ladies. 
turning the page. This is a page that kind of reminded me of like a trip somewhere, an adventure. There's some uh, page out of my antique typesetting book. A cool little pocket here that has a rubber stamp seals and stencils and a pretty sticker, some really pretty writing paper, a ticket that goes down into that pocket. And here's that one that I showed you a moment ago with the two tags. This one has journaling space, a um, little bit on the side here, but this is a decorated front and back. And I like that because when you turn it over, you don't see like white space. But most of the tags that I create are meant to be journaling on the back. So see here when you turn it over how it has that pretty flower here. And then this one is somewhat uh, completed on the back. The young writer's sentences, like young trees, generally admit a good deal of prun pruning. Words merely are no ornaments of style. And this one goes into this pocket. This has a, a cool medicine kit, some old vintage uh, illustration of spools. Here's a postage stamp and a little piece torn off of an old letter. This is a small little pocket there on the front. And in the back page, as you can see, these are some of my master boards that I've made and I've sewn them. So these are all almost like quilted where they're sewn. This is a piece of corrugated cardboard, uh, a wax seal with some ribbon. And here's another uh, cool piece of ephemera that you can use to uh, capture your journaling ideas. This goes up into this corner pocket. And here again, you can see the tabs that hold it together. And then the back of this is a piece of an old literary digest. The pen is mightier than the sword. It has a pocket um, from a piece from the typeset book, a, a little revolving thing that I made with uh, cutouts from a book. Another little piece there. This is a corner piece. This has a couple of fun little things in it has this pretty little, tiny little accordion that opens like so, and it can go right down in there. And then it also has this little piece here. And so that is the tab bound folio. And again, I'll show you the side so you can kind of see how those tabs work. It's a sequence of threes, twos, threes, twos that bind this together. So I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough. I hope you've had some inspiration on some ideas that you'd like to try yourself. Um, if you'd like to purchase this one, it will be available in the Etsy shop. And as you probably know by now, that's www.we'rejusttwosisters.etsy.com. That's We're Just Two Sisters with the number two. The link will be in the, in the description of the video. And we hope that you come and check out our shop often. If you like our YouTube channel, give it a like. It certainly helps us. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.